Hello, team. And uh, I'm coming to you with some kind of bad news today. Uh, we are, as of yesterday, shut back down again. So I want to make this video about what you guys should be doing through the month of June. And just bear in mind that there's a song, a book, and a movie all titled The Loneliness of Long Distance Run. People recognize that in our sport, oftentimes we just have to do hard things alone. You don't have to be 100% alone. I encourage you to communicate with your teammates. You have to do a workout, post a video, or maybe set up a classroom or something. But we got to talk. We got to keep working. All right. So, look, in every event from the 800 meters up to the marathon, there are some things that distance runners just need to do. All right. First of all, everybody during the off season, we're going to be sprinting at top speed once a week. All right. Uh, pick a telephone pole in your street or, you know, 10 trees down or something, and you're going to sprint. Sprint all out. Like after a good warm up or a short run, do some sprinting. We're going to run some tempo efforts, all right? Uh, that might look different for different people. I'll explain that later. We're going to continue to build our mileage. Some of you don't need to bring it up too much more. Some of you need to bring it up a lot more. We're going to do auxiliary exercises like floor pushes, floor lunges, stretching, foam rolling, all that good stuff. All right, so this is a picture up above my head of Lynn Jennings. She was a multiple-time U.S. cross-country champion, three-time world cross-country champion. She's like a prototypical distance-oriented type of runner. And the people that I have listed there are going to be training like prototypical distance-oriented type of runners. Uh, their one hard workout of the week for right now is going to be a tempo run of 30 minutes. And the way I want you guys to do it, rather than taking a set course, do out and back. Go out for 15 minutes, turn around and come back for 15 minutes. If on the way back, you blow up and you can't make it at the same pace. That means you're going too fast. And if you finish and it's like super easy and you kick the last mile super fast, then you could probably speed up those first 15 minutes. Ideally, you want to finish feeling like you could have done another mile and it wouldn't have been that bad. Uh, and then do some strides at the end. That's one day a week. You're going to focus on doing a hard workout. One day a week, you're going to do a long run. Okay, 20 to 25% of your weekly miles. Do the math on that. For Renee, it would be Miles. And then one or two more times a week, add strides. I forgot to add that one of those days, one of those days doing strides should be sprint. Okay? Um, and so one sprint day, one stride day, add strides after the tempo run. Okay. This here, Seneca Lassiter, he was one of the top 800, 1500 meters in the United States during the 90s, ran at the University of Arkansas, but he was a big contributor to their national championship. So these groups here will train a little bit differently, but still the idea, the one hard workout per week, it's still a threshold focus. It's if you guys are going to go a little faster than you do Bartlett, instead of sustained tempo, you're going to go at about uh, three minutes hard, one minute easy, four sets, four to six sets of that. Warm up for one to two miles first. Do some relaxed strides afterwards. Also, one large volume day per week, uh, but you guys can break it into two runs. So you don't have to do one continuously long run. And that's not your jam. Uh, do some 200s once a week. If you can't do 200s, do some kind of longer strides out of the canal or something like that. Nothing overly difficult. Uh, and our beginners, you guys, you're goal is to just increase your mileage. If you didn't see your name listed before, all I want you doing is bringing your mileage up and throwing in strides two or three times a week. This includes our veterans who haven't been working out a lot right now. Your goal is to just get miles on your legs. So in summary, varsity athletes, good varsity athletes can come from any group. This is our 2017 uh, section championship team. And uh, there's three beginners on there. There's three people that would be in what we call the white group right now. I'm almost out of time, so I'm just going to put these up here. You can take a look, and you can pause them uh, on what – you can pause this video right now and kind of look at the general guidelines, what everybody should be doing. I'm about out of time, so, hey, let's continue to work hard, and I will see you on the flip side. I will continue to update, and uh, take care.